Good morning, almost. It's almost noon. Anyway, it is Saturday the 2nd of July and I was supposed to be up hours ago, but I wasn't because my body needed more rest, which is totally fine. I do need some sleep tokens, to be fair. Today I'm going to do some writing and some reading and I'm going to do it by going out to the Dunleary Library, which is a gorgeous library that my friend showed me on my birthday and I just it's just so nice being there it's just such a lovely environment so I am going to go out there I'm gonna stay till they close until they kick me out the door and I'm gonna do some writing short stories about my novel some book reviews I'm also going to be reading as well I just had my breakfast of reheated takeaway that I got last night nice Versus near. Step forward. 20 year old Catherine Greif is suing her ex boyfriend. 22 year old Gregory Trey Near III for totaling her car and tow yard fees. I take care of my mother. You get paid by the state to do that? I do. How much do you get paid by the state? And I'm just going to take a shower and head off to the library. So come with me. And so I waited for the bus in the blazing sunshine. Already sweating. And here I am on the bus. Incredible, I know. Thank God for those sunglasses. They are saving my life. I'm testing this out because my camera is in my bag. It's very sunny in Dublin today. But of course I have a raincoat because also Ireland so it could start snowing or there could be a hurricane in two minutes. Who knows? But I'm on my way to the train station. Uh, might only have a couple of hours to work but we'll see what I can get done. Also thank the gods for this lovely little rainbow fan I have because it was so hot on that train. Not great views on that side, but there are some better views on the other side. You can see lovely water, you can't actually see anything here, but there are lovely boats outside. And this is me off the train. Look at that place, guy. Absolutely crazy. Good old Dunleary. And this is the beautiful Dunleary Library. Absolutely gorgeous inside. Apparently there was some controversy with the uh, style of the place. It's supposed to look like a ship from the outside, but whatever. Uh, this place, stay till the end of the video to see this place, uh, packed with people on the next day. But this library is just gorgeous. There are so many fabulous seating places where you can read and it's really modern and bright and there's three floors the top floor is mainly for students here's some lovely trees outside i do love a good tree and there's a great kids section which i avoid because there are kids there uh there is a beautiful window that you can sit that you can see the whole ocean but uh it's always got kids near it there is uh, a nice view of Tunleary Harbour at that window as well, and it's just massive. Here's my setup for the day. I had my fan. Of course, I sat in the middle of a sunbeam. I brought some Junji Ito with me, and I had to finish the Shirley Jackson, but I was not sure to bring loads with me. Nobody was there near me. It wasn't very busy, thankfully. So that was good. Of course I had my nifty five minute writing uh, just to stretch the muscles getting into it. That I, I've been recommending that to my writing group and everything. I think it's a really great trick to just get yourself into the mode of writing and remind yourself that it is something you can do and you don't have to start off with perfect words all of the time. And I also think just writing with your actual hand and a pen on paper instead of typing 
can really help uh, engage your brain and get the ideas flowing as well. That really helps me to, to get started. This is me deciding what I'm going to start with, and I think on the first day I decided to start with a short story. You may notice I have a little rainbow band as well. Someone gave me that for free uh, on Pride, so that was very nice of them. I just thought these lights were very cool. There's also a map up there on the wall that's like carved into the stone. I think it's of like the harbour, which is quite cool. Here I was sort of getting burnt out and I kind of needed to, to do something else and then of course my computer had to update something so I was contemplating getting some reading done and just seeing a bit more of the library as well. And then I saw a seagull sitting on his butt and uh, that amused me for a little while. It's the little things you gotta look out for. This is a lovely little uh, diagram of the, the library uh, downstairs. I think they're still building some bits outside, but that's what it will look like when it's totally done. Uh, oh, there's also a an art gallery, and this was right at the door. I just thought this was a fantastic painting of this floating castle and this lone figure. They were at the time showing some paintings that were inspired, I think, by Alzheimer's, and there were some gorgeous ones there. Of course this is my favourite, it's like some sort of weird octopus mustachio clown guy from another dimension with a, a very realistic eye in the centre, so thank you very much to uh, Kevin Mooney, gauche on canvas. And this is just a little area that's near the YA fiction, they've got these little poof chairs that I thought were kind of cool. And you can see the, the trees I was talking about earlier on the ground floor. Very pretty. Oh yeah, they brought back the piano in the pier station. Oh, the famous Capenay Bridge. Oh, look at that. The Lewis, which was basically just an oven on the track. Actually melting. So I'm back at home now. I had a small amount of food because my housemate wanted to go for a walk in Phoenix Park at 8 pm, but unfortunately he is neurotypical. So it's now half past eight. And he still isn't in the house. Um, time means nothing to these people, really. But in regards to writing and reading, I had a good day today. I didn't get all the things done I wanted to do because my eyes are bigger than my stomach in that regard. I had a list of two book reviews, uh, a short story draft and the second chapter of the novel I'm working on redone. Uh, did not do any of that. I got the 
a good chunk of like the intro of the short story done and I figured out what was wrong with the rest of it so I can do some more of that tonight. Um, I'm tempted to go back to the library tomorrow because it's just such a good space to be in. I just love being there uh, and it's a really nice place to be so I don't know I might go back tomorrow. Um, right now I need to finish editing video and posting it and I washed my bed shoes so I have to put those back on. Oh and I'm gonna finish this tonight because I was I brought this and a John G. Do book to the library. This is Hang This Man by Shirley Jackson. But I am going to uh, finish this before I start those. And I want to do like a Junji Ito uh, reading vlog as well. Um, not that there's about, mm, I think it's about 60, 70 pages left in this. So I should get that done pretty soon. But right now I'm just going to go edit that video and get it online and this is how i edit yes i do tie my hair up before i start any kind of work like violet in a, a series of unfortunate events it just makes sense uh i edit on my phone because i'm a dingus and i need a new laptop and to learn how to use new technology but you're lucky because normally i'm contorted into all sorts of ways and generally lying down and this is me and my housemate and our friend going for a walk in Phoenix Park no, I'm not doing it. Twilight. This is the privilege of having two large male friends with you. Uh, it's a gorgeous place. Love the trees. Definitely need to explore more when the sun is up. There is my red face. This is what you all really came here for, isn't it? Watching someone change the bed sheets. Uh, it is a good task though for someone who has a lot of executive dysfunction stuff going on and you know for mental health stuff and it was a very productive day. It was a good task to, de to get done. Definitely needed it done and uh, I felt much better after it was done. Honestly one of the most productive days I've had in a long time. Uh, Got my bed sheets on. Went for a walk. Once my laptop stops shitting itself, I'm going to finally upload the video. Kind of late in the day. It is 11 p.m. But uh, at least it will be done. So tonight I'm going to finish Shirley Jackson, and tomorrow I'm going to do the second chapter of my book, and also hopefully get a draft done of that short story. Can't speak too much exercise. Okay, I should explain this bit. This is uh, Sunday, day two, and Beyonce released a new song, so that is what I'm doing. It's a 90s dance tune, if ever there was one, so check that out if you're into it. I'm going to finish the Angus Man because I didn't finish it on the Saturday. And I'm also going to write my novel today instead of the short story, just to move on a bit. I really need to move on to a different song, maybe. On the train again. I actually got a seat this time, so that was nice. And um, because of that seat, I could see the Viva Stadium, which is right there. A lot of rugby happens there. The sky was not so blue, but it was definitely just as roached. There's actually a coffee shop downstairs called Pink, and I decided to go in there and get myself some tea and a croissant. Uh, I took this whole big couch myself, and there's some cool iron chains hanging behind it as well. But it wasn't very busy inside, and the reason for that was because there were a lot of people actually outside. And I realized I love croissants, which means I love butter and salt and fat. So that was my fuel for that day's writing. This is on my way back up to the library. Uh, lots of cool dogs outside. On Sundays they have all these different food stalls, all kinds of food. I'm so tempted to go down, but I had to get writing. 
but I had uh, a difficult time starting writing today. That's me tapping on my phone because I have this stupid clicker game. I should be writing. I know I should be writing, but I just couldn't start. And I was stuck tapping on this flipping cookie app. But I eventually got myself out of that by using my five minute thing. And this is me always trying to improve my posture. Five minutes on the clock and five minutes to get some writing done. Get my brain kick started into what I want to do for the day. You can see the more serious I get, the closer I get to the page. Eventually I will lie my face down on one side of it. It's it's really a sight to see. So mortified that that was playing out loud in the library. I thought it, that was only in my headphones. Whoops. This right here is basically everything after the first chapter that I wrote. Um, and I realized that I basically had to delete it all because I was isolating my characters and nothing was happening and I, I knew I had to get them out of that and bring the conflict in and I knew it was all bad but it's just kind of disheartening having to delete all those words but I know even though it feels like a step back it's still definitely a step forward to getting to the right words and I had to do that to know what I needed to do anyway, so it's still going good. And when I can't get the words out typing, sometimes I like to just take notes of what I want to happen next, and that sort of jogs me along as well and gets me able to write and able to, to type it out when I can sort of see it in front of me like that. Get the fucking cookies. Yes, uh, I did end up going outside to some lovely art. I thought that pillow was cool, just falling from a ball. There were some art being sold outside as well. This is me sort of a little bit frustrated. Uh, waiting for the train on the way home. So I made it home. Uh, I did want to go and buy some food in those street uh, vendor things. But I couldn't decide what I wanted and then when I did they didn't have it and then I panicked and I just felt a little bit overwhelmed and the library was closing soon anyway so I figured I would just go home. Ended up going into town and buying unnecessary uh, garbage food there, even though I could have come straight home and eaten here, but then that would mean saving money, um, which we all know I am deathly allergic to. So anyway, I'm quite... It's that annoying Irish weather. It's very warm, but it's also raining, so I would like to bring this beanbag outside, but it's going to rain again. Uh, I am going to finish... This, I only have like 20 pages left, I think. And then I'm going to finish the rest of that chapter. I did get it started in the library, but uh, yeah, I need to get that done tonight. Ah, the mysterious girl who reads and definitely does not have neck problems. The world, the world. This was me trying to make reading look like it's interesting. It very much is, but uh, watching someone read is not. So I am going to uh, end this little vlog here after I finished Hangisman, which I'm still digesting. Um, I did take a nap for quite a few hours. The heat does not sit well with me. I'm quite happy with the weekend's work though. This is kind of like a, this was a bit of an experiment and just to see what would happen if I 
got out of the house and went to this ideal writing environment and you know it was the first time I've ever tried to do that for two days in the weekend and I actually got some good stuff done and I definitely got some good stuff sorted out further on in my short story and in the novel. I have to set myself arbitrary goals and stuff um, so I'm not going to film another video, I'm not going to start another book until I finish the second chapter and if I can get to the end of the J July and do like one chapter of the novel a week there'll be four chapters that I didn't have before so that would be very good and I would also like to get the um, short story done so I might just start writing a couple of sentences at work every day you know it will eventually get done then but yeah I think it was a I think it was good and I am definitely going back to Town Leary and that library again because it is just a, a gorgeous place to be. Don't know if I'll be able to go next weekend because I might be hanging out with some people uh, but once I work up my hours at work because I'm a little bit behind at the minute um, it doesn't close until 8pm so I could potentially go there after work for a couple of hours as well. Uh, there is a library right beside me but it's closed for renovations so once that opens up again that might be an easier <laughs> route to go but uh, the Dunleary one is just so gorgeous. But yes that is, thank you for joining me. I hope you liked seeing uh, a bit of Dublin and a bit of the uh, cool libraries we have. You should definitely use your nearest library more even if it's just online or whatever, there's so many resources. The one that I was at has 3D printers, which is just madness, but uh, very cool. So I shall see you in the next video and I'll keep you updated on my writing. And let me know what you're writing as well, because I'm very interested to know what other people are working on. But I will see you in the next video.